Hi, I'm Sianna, and today I want to tell you a story about the goddess Durga. So Mahisha, who often took the form of a bull, he did all of his practices, all of his ascetic practices for years and years and years with this one-pointed ekagrata focus until finally Lord Shiva took notice. And he came to Mahisha and he said, okay, Mahisha, your practices have been very steady. What is it that you want? And he says, I want to be invincible to all beings. Well, Shiva looked at him and he said, okay, but there has to be one caveat. You have to be vulnerable to at least one class of beings. And Mahisha says, well, that's easy. Let it be the class of beings called women because they will never be able to touch me. Okay, first mistake. Now, as he goes about becoming this great lord of the universe and with all of this power, he plunders and terrorizes everyone and everything and the world falls entirely into darkness. And the gods and goddesses get together and they say, what are we gonna do with this demon? He's taking control over everything all the worlds and and so they get together with brahma vishnu and shiva and the three of them create this triadic heart and then the rest of them stand in a great community circle around them and the three gods start to focus very intensely and they focus a beam of light out of their third eye and each one of them then blast out a laser beam of their third eye light right into the center and the three laser beams converge and from this ignited center there starts to be this this opening of this form and the flames start to rise into the most lustrous form the world has ever seen and it is the goddess Durga riding fiercely mounted upon her great lion and she rides off to the base of the great mountain with her four priestesses, her four attendants. And she says, I'm going into my cave now for my own practices and let no one disturb me. As she goes into her practices, she starts chanting the name of her beloved who is Shiva. And she does her practices entirely motivated from the place of love itself. And she chants to Shiva, Nama Shivaya, Nama Shivaya, Nama Shivaya. And she's chanting out of love. As she's chanting and doing her practices, the mountain begins to blaze and light becomes restored again, once again to the universe. And as it's blazing, Mahisha takes notice and he says, who dares to make my world shine when I have plunged the whole thing into darkness? And so he goes over and he shapeshifts himself into a beggar because he knows whoever this is must be very powerful. And he looks in and he says, oh, you know, I'm just begging for some alms, please, great goddess. But the moment that he sees her, he falls desperate to have her for his own. And he says to her, I will give you everything. I'm the Lord of the universe. Please, 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 you have to be mine. And she looks at him and she says, no. She says, I, will, I am only for one who is pure of heart. My practices, Mahisha, are from the place of love. Your practices are for the love of power, and I want nothing to do with you. And she cast him away, and it infuriates him. And now the world goes even deeper into darkness, and the gods and goddesses come to Durga, and they say, what are you doing, great goddess? Why do you tarry with this demon when you could surely um, slay him in just the fraction of a second? And she says, do not worry. For surely this great demon Mahisha rushes against his dharma faster than a moth even rushes into a flame. He will be the cause of his own demise. And then at this point, the great battle emerges and Mahisha arrives at her doorstep and he takes the form of the great demon bull, which represents our most stubborn, habitual patterns that don't serve us. And she meets him and she meets him however he shapeshifts. And then he shapeshifts into a lion and then into a blue striped tiger and into the great elephant. And she keeps meeting him, meeting him, meeting him. And then he starts to take the shape of a man, but he's still a bull. And right at that juncture where he's half man and half bull is the moment that she slays him and she puts the soft underside of her foot gently upon his head and subdues the demon and the world is restored to total order.